Hi, Andrew here. If you're anything like I am, you are super stoked that Fallout 76 will be coming out in November. And in the meantime, this is a great time to talk about how the guns in the Fallout universe relate to guns in the real world. The Fallout is set in a fictional alternate universe, uh, alternate history sort of universe. That is, sometime around 1945, sometime after the end of World War II, the history of the Fallout universe diverged from our own. Um, they didn't develop the transistor until much later, and their computers didn't develop as quickly, but they did develop nuclear technology much more quickly than we did. Don't get too wrapped up in the whole alternate history thing. Just know that it's kind of a cool retro futuristic look as if what Maro Maro Land might have looked like from 1950 looking at the future. The central point to keep in mind for gun guys is that because the Fallout universe shares a lot of the same history, a lot of the same guns also exist in that universe, uh, real world guns. So what we're going to do is we're going to do a series looking at some of the guns and ammunition that exist in Fallout and comparing them to real world guns. What better place to start than the original badass the Thompson submachine gun. In the game, the Tommy gun is referred to as just the submachine gun. Uh, there's a couple of notable legendary versions like the Silver Shroud, which is really just a silver version of the regular submachine gun, and the Spray and Pray, which shoots exploding bullets. Like real world guns, they are highly customizable. You can add a reflex sight or different kinds of magazines and stocks, although some of the modifications that you do in the game don't really relate to changes in performance as they would in the real world. It is still just a game, but generally the video game gun is fairly true to the real world gun in that it looks quite a bit like an actual Thompson. It does mix some features of the 1928 with M1 or M1A1, some of the old gangster style features of the Tommy gun versus the issue GI version of the Tommy gun. But again, alternate history, video game, all of that neat stuff. But hey, this isn't a video game channel. This is a gun channel. And this series is about comparing video game guns to real world guns. To make that happen for us, we went down to Scottsdale Gun Club and they hooked us up with a no shit Tommy gun. So is it that? Yep, mm -hmm. It's weird. You're supposed to like actually look like your right thumb. Yeah, or left but thumb it, my, I have these short little carny hands. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Awesome. Of course, this isn't actually an antique. Scottsdale Gun Club would have to be insane to let guests come in and just beat the crap out of a collectible antique every day. They made an extremely faithful reproduction of the M1A1. The details are dead on. It is a blast to shoot. The Thompson is really heavy. It weighs 10 pounds empty. Uh, to put that in perspective, an M16A2 rifle weighs under 9 pounds with a full 30 round magazine. But that extra weight helps keep it more controllable. Even though you're shooting full auto 230 grain ball, a heavy gun keeps it all in line. Is it super practical? No, of course not. This is an antique. They were originally issued in World War I, and no, nobody would, nobody <laughs> would choose to bring one into, into war now that we have lighter, faster, better in every way, except for cool. The Tommy gun is nothing but absolute cool. It's cool in the game, and it's cool in real life. 
And of course, you guys would be pissed off if I didn't do a gel test, even though you know exactly what 45 Full Metal Jacket does to gel. nothing surprising going on here of course every single round per penetrates all the way through the 16 inch block without leaving a whole lot of disruption behind it because it is full metal jacket because full metal jacket just doesn't do a whole lot of damage to gel or tissue no matter what that oversharing old guy at the end of the gun counter tells you unless you have the bloody mess perk turned on so what's the bottom line not everything has to be pragmatic super practical tommy guns are fun Video games are fun. Shooting stuff is fun. Full auto is fun. Have fun. If you have any questions, if you think I got something wrong, if you think I'm stupid for playing video games when I should be doing grown man stuff, leave a comment below. As always, like, share, subscribe. It's not just something that we say at the end of YouTube videos. It really does make a difference for the channel. If you have the time, head on over to our sponsor's website, Ventura Munitions. Take a look at what they have in stock. Come back here and tell us what you'd like to see us test next. Have a great day.